you've been watching my videos and we have made a stair lift for our dog who's 16 and a superstar and we were carrying him up and carrying him down and it just got ridiculous so decided to make a stair lift to try and make our lives easier so i thought i'd give you a quick run through of what we've done to achieve our stair lift for our dog because it has been a massive massive undertaking to think about um, but it's been a total success and we're absolutely thrilled um, so we actually went and got our stair lift through uh, Facebook Marketplace, which meant it cost us absolutely nothing, which again, I'm also really thrilled about. Turns out stair lifts, you have to get the right type and size for your stair length. So you're going to need to find one that is the right number of stairs for your household. Obviously, we've got a fairly standard number of stairs, so it was, it was quite easy for us to do. Um, but if you've got a curve or something like that, you are going to have to find one that fits your house. Um, we then obviously had to decide how we were going to actually make this box go on the stairs. So the stair lift actually comes with a foot plate and about a million safety options, which is really quite surprising. This is the other dog. Um, so the foot plate, we actually took all the gubbins off. It's got loads of safety buttons, like literally everywhere on this thing. It's insane. Um, but we tried to put the box on here, but as you can see, the foot plate comes out to here. So when we put the box down here, it blocked our stairs for us, so we couldn't use it. But we did end up making lo loads of ramps so that he could actually walk in and out of this, which was an amazing thing. So the box was great, but it just wasn't practical for us. So we now took the plate up, um, and what we've done is put the box on the seat. Now, the seat actually has a really annoying curve at the back of it, which means that you can't just put the box straight on the seat because then it sticks out even further. So what we've actually done is we've um, put some blocks of wood underneath here to try and raise the box up so that... Swagger! Dog's getting involved with the filming. Um, so we've raised the box up so that we can actually have the box as far back as possible so that we can still access and use the seats as well. Um, we've left as much of these safety gubbins in just, just to make our lives easier, really, because, you know, trying to understand the, the mechanics, I think sounds a bit hard. Um, but to be honest, I'm going to get my husband talking you through that side of things soon. We also did have to move the electric supply because the... Um, the stair lift has to sit on its charging point at the bottom and at the top. Um, so we did have to move the, the cable uh, so that it was always charging because they have to be. Um, they come with so many safety features. It's actually really quite a nice thing to use because the safety is all done. It runs really smoothly. There's no jolts for the dog when they start or stop. Um, and also it's really quite quiet, which is really nice. Um, and then the other thing is... It's quiet, aside from the beeps, there's loads of safety beeps, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, we then put a uh, set of bolts on the side so that we could flap it down. And that is because we need to be able to lift our dog into and out of the box. So it's not a perfect solution because we've still got to lift the dog in and out, um, but it works perfectly for us. Um, so we, we put this flap down and then I can lift Logan in and it's amazing. We've also put a, a piece of material on the bottom just for grip. Um, you could use grip tape. We considered that, but the materials worked really well for us. Um, the other thing we are going to do is put some padding on the sides here because uh, our boy sits on the side, which uh, I find hilarious. I don't know why he does that, but that's what he does. So we'll put some padding on here. And then obviously when we want to start it up, we shut the gates, lock it up. And we're set to go. So we have a remote control with our stair lift as well, which is fantastic. This is where you're going to hear the beeps. But it's not too bad. And then it gets going. And it will nicely ride up the stairs, which is wonderful. I'm not going to take it all the way up because that's a really long video. But you've seen the video of, uh, of my dog doing his super duper chance. Uh, go with it. Um, and then we can bring it back down again. And it's all really simple and really easy and we're thrilled. And as I say, cost wise, really, all we actually paid for was this wood and the bolts and hinges. So it's been absolutely amazing. And then I had some fun decorating it. I hope that's a help to you. I'm going to get the hubster on to do the uh, chat through of any techie stuff that he wants to add for the how to do a stair lift for your dog. Um, really helpful. My other dog's also got three legs and so he's also going to need it really soon. He also will jump in on his own actually, which is nice when the side's down. So thanks for watching. I hope that's a real help. Let's get stair lifts for the dogs for the world. Thank you.